it's Wednesday the 1st of June I'm just leaving Longrona or I've been on the go for at least an hour and I'm now traveling by myself I said goodbye to Paul and Julie last night and they're getting on a train to Madrid and then to Syria where they're going to do the final 100 kilometers of the uh, Camino so in some ways maybe this feels like the start of my own uh, sabbatical and my own Camino uh, it's a very different experience traveling by myself so far I haven't seen that many people just seen a couple ahead of me um, I'm going slower than I have been in previous days because my feet are hurting me I've got big blisters and they're just not healing very well so uh, going at a slower pace and I've got about 30 kilometers over 30 kilometers to do today so it's a long walk uh, left at 5.15 so earliest start today but it took quite a while to get through the town through the city to pick up the trail so uh, I'll see how I get on today uh, so yeah uh, this is I think this is day eight uh, of the walking the Camino anyway I'll let you know how I get on wait, wait, wait. So it's uh, 9.20 a.m. It's already incredibly hot walking through vineyards and uh, there's very little shade and temperature could be hitting 34 degrees today so it's going to be a long hot walk. I probably still have at least three hours to go. Changed out of my shoes and wearing sandals with socks just to try and get a bit more air to my feet but now walking through the Rioja region famous obviously for its wine hi it's Thursday the 2nd of June. It should have been day 9 of my Camino walk um, but instead I find myself in a place which is called La Herrera and this is my second day here. I arrived here yesterday. Um, I got here yesterday early afternoon and my feet were causing me so much pain uh, and they weren't looking good and in fact the blisters seemed to be spreading. Uh, so I thought I should do something about it. I spent uh, part of the afternoon trying to find a podiatrist to see if they could take a look at my feet. Um, when I did eventually find one, she just wasn't interested, just sent me away. Uh, and I ended up going to the local hospital. There's a bit of a faff over that, but eventually they did see me. And uh, when they took off the compede plasters and looked at my blisters, I think even they were shocked. The blisters are pretty terrible, they're very large, so they've removed the dead skin. Uh, they put a, a bandage on it and they've given me sort of medication and instructions on how to look after my feet. So today is a rest day, I'm not doing anything, not going anywhere. Um, I'll be honest, I feel pretty low. Um, I didn't imagine I would get blisters, I didn't imagine it would uh, affect my walk. But my real concern is I genuinely don't know if I will be able to carry on with the Camino. Uh, they said two or three days rest, I may be okay, but I'll be honest, my feet are in such a state, I'm not convinced. Uh, so I have to make a decision, I've got two nights here in this place, so uh, another night here, and then a decision about what to do. Do I stay locally, try and find somewhere else, maybe a bit more private? Uh, to, to rest and to see how my feet are. Do I jump on the bus and go to what would be my next destination and, and hop along the route that way? Uh, it's not what I want to do. Um, the other thing is, you know, if, if the feet don't properly heal and I start walking on them again or walking in new shoes, is that just going to cause further problems? 
So I really am in this situation now where I, I simply don't know what to do and I'm pretty fed up. Um, I'm pretty down about it if I'm honest. Um, you know, I've been looking forward to doing the Camino for such a long time and I didn't expect to have to be wrestling with um, the problems of, of blisters. And physically, the walking, the distance of the walking, that's not an issue for me. That's that's fine. I can do that. I enjoy doing that. It's just that I've developed these almighty blisters and they're not healing. Uh, so I really don't know what to do. Um, potentially, potentially, I might have to call an end to the Camino and go home much earlier than planned. And that then also raises the question, well, what do I do with the rest of my sabbatical? Um, so yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I've spent a um, couple of hours on the phone today just trying to sort out um, payments as well because I had to pay for the hospital treatment so I had to phone the bank to sort all that. So it's, um, yeah. And uh, I'll have to probably go out at some point try and find some food but again, just not feeling motivated to do anything really. So that's my day. So I'm just hoping things will improve. I'm hoping my feet will improve and I'm hoping that I will be able to continue with the Camino. Um, I was determined not to use public transport, but um, given the situation I'm in, maybe I have no other option, at least for a day or two. Um, but looking at my feet, I'm just not that positive that they will heal properly in time. So we will see. Hi, it's Friday the 3rd of June and uh, I'm still in Naharea. Uh, I've been here two nights now and I'm actually going to be spending two more nights here in this town. Uh, I've booked myself into an Airbnb so I'm out of the hostel and this is just really to give my feet more time to heal. So my hope is that on Sunday when I plan to leave uh, I'll be able to continue my Camino to Santiago. It does put me back a few days, but I'm hoping I can still reach uh, Santiago by the end of June. That's my aim. Uh, and hopefully I can do the whole route without having to skip sections by bus, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, I put myself into this little uh, apartment. Uh, it's owned by two sisters and I thought I'd just show you. So if I just turn the camera around. So it's a small apartment. There's, um, Got a bathroom in there, which is lovely. Little kitchen area for cooking, fridge, freezer, table, and over here, uh, two single beds. Uh, and then out here, you won't see it because of the trees, but there is actually a rather large garden out there, uh, so that'd be nice to sit in. And then I have my own little private balcony. So here we are and the municipal swimming pool is right across the road and I'm actually on the third floor. You can look down to the neighbour's garden there, rather lovely. So this is where I'm going to be spending the next two days and really the plan is to do very little. Um, I'm going to head into the town, to the shops, I'm going to get some food, cook myself something to eat and then just put my feet up and um, hopefully let the healing process work uh, so that when I set off on Sunday my major blisters will be much better and I'll be able to continue the Camino I hope God willing without any major further setbacks so it's um, it's not been part of the plan it's been quite frustrating I must admit yesterday wasn't an easy day for me I spent ages just looking at the various different options uh, but if by giving time to rest allows my feet to heal and allows me to complete the Camino then hopefully it's worth it. It's difficult when you see other pilgrims arrive and disappear. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I've put myself into an Airbnb. Partly it's quieter but also uh, when you're seeing people getting up and continuing their journey when you feel you should be doing the same it's not easy. So yeah um, we'll see how the next couple of days go but uh, now off to town to get some food.